Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! Alright, since last time I left you here at the Agua Tower, so let's explore it. Oh, I gotta heal up Bo real quick. Should've done this off screen, but okay, there we go. Let's head up. Now, throughout this dungeon, we're gonna be seeing walls that are busted, like in the lower right, and doors that are locked that we cannot get to just now. You want to remember where this place is, though, viewers. We will have a way of, well, getting all those chests that are either behind locked doors or by crumbled walls, so. Um, yeah, we want to head up first. And we get a light, too. And let's go over here. And now's the time, now's the point in the game where I'm going to start editing some battles out if I feel it takes too long. Just because we have a lot of stuff to do today, I really want to get into, well, I really want to get done with this tower today. Right here we get an herb. I may even consider using marble threes just to speed it up. I don't know though, I'll think about it. And we get an apple. And an acorn. You want to hold on to that acorn? This guy should go down easy enough. Now also, I'm going to be removing Ryu's Rang for uh, a later battle in here. Now there's nothing over to the right, so let's just head up. And head down on this platform. Let's head over here first. And we get a sun hat. Now, let's equip that on... Let's see here. No, we actually want to equip that on Ryu. Yeah, because he can, he can benefit more from the defense boost. So I like doing that. There we go. Let's head back now. Yeah, you have to walk all the way back again. Okay, now let's take the bottom right uh, path. There we go. And there really is no new enemies in here. So just stick with the same strategy you have been using. And like I said in the previous episode, the Earth Key is really going to start to not be as useful because the enemies will start getting a lot harder and have a lot more HP. There we got a cold stone. Awesome. And we get an iron shield. Now Bo can't equip shield so let's give this to Ryu. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take the plus four defense out of uh, to lose some act. Now let's take the last path. Come on. Hopefully Nina gains a level too while we're here. We really need her to to get up to level 12. Come on. Okay. And right here we get one of the most powerful pieces of gear in the game, the Thief CL. Now let's equip that on Ryu. Look at his stats right now, okay. 92 defense. You equip it. Holy cow, raised it by 10. That's amazing. And now we want to give um, 
bow, reuse old gear. Yeah, look up by 12. That's huge. All set and ready to go now. Only one path left to take, and oh, that's up the stairs. First, let's get this chest. And we get another acorn. All right. Let's take the lower left uh, platform now. And what do we get here? We get a hairband. We want to give that to Nina. Yeah, plus two on the defense and act and a little bit up on the magic. Not bad at all. Wow, though, Nina is so bad at physical attacks. Only six damage. Come on. Right here we get an herb. And over here. What do we get? We get a bracelet. Let's see here. Who do I want to give that to? Um, do I want to give that to Ryu? Oh, he can't even equip it. Huh. Yeah, we want to give that to Nina. Now let's just head up. And get the hell out of here. We're nearing the end of the tower. Just to let you guys know. So... Huh, is Nina level 12? No, she's not. Crap. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Though by the end of this uh, tower, I really want to get up to level 12 on Nina. Let's go right first. We can't do anything to the left. Just because I'll... I'll tell you right now, she gains a new spell. And it's a very, very useful spell. Not critical for upcoming parts, but later on, it is critical. And right there we got meat. Works as kind of an herb, almost. Now before going up there, let's heal up. This is going to be... Well, I won't spoil anything for you, but let's talk to this guy. Hopefully the frame rate works for you guys and you can see him. He's the boss that guards the key. Sure, we'll test our strength for boss time! Okay, right now we want to have Ryu on the Earth Key. We want to get his... Oh, crap! I already screwed this up, guys. Well, I didn't screw it up. Oh, well, we can do this. Ah, uh, damn it. Um... <laughs> okay. We want to be using our Cold Stones and all that stuff and have Bo on Fry. What I was saying about messing up is I really wanted to take Ryu off the Rang and put him on the Long Sword since there's only one enemy. Oh well, we can work with it. Yeah, this guy can hit all party members, which is... that's pretty bad for right now, I mean. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to be using Earth Key. Just go all out on this guy and have Ninon stand by for healing. Cold Stone and Fry again. Look at how much HP this guy has though. I mean, the 80 damage barely does anything to the guy. But luckily we have all those stones to use on him. So let's use that. I believe we have... How many do we have left here? We have one... Two, I really want to stay, save that bolt stone. Huh. Oh well, whatever. We'll use it. Bow's out of MP, and I, I really do not want to use an acorn on bow. And we're going to have to heal up Nina after this one. Come on. 
Okay, should go down and I'd say two turns. Let's have Ryu on the Earth Key. Nina can heal herself with Kira. Yeah, Kira 2 is a little bit overpowered right now. And we use Bo's last MP on... Yeah, we use it on Bo. Just to be safe, Ryu's pretty much the tank of the group. I mean, he can get down to critical and we then we'll have to heal him up. We don't have to worry about him right now, though. So now we want to attack on Ryu. Use attack up on Ryu. And the Earth Key. Yeah, I'll, I'll let Ryu get way down until we heal him up. And the interesting thing about this boss is he does not have a second wind. So just go all out when you see him down pretty low. Just attack on Bo. Come on. We're playing this uh, pretty risky here. Oh damn it, that Earth Key. Come on. Uh, let's see here. Yep, we're going to have to go all out. I really want to... Uh, <laughs> I want to see if I can do this real quick. Come on. Ooh, we had a hidden F-Stone. All right. And right when we need it. Ooh, and a counter. Oh, come on, Earth Key. Yes! Yes! Okay, when we're all in critical and Nina gained a level. And we got Agility Up. One of my favorite uh, spells in the game. Yeah, we deserve the key. Wow, was that cutting it pretty close. So I can't believe I found that random F-Stone. <laughs> that is lucky, I'll tell you that. But right there, we got the King's Key. That's what it's called. Anyways, I'm going to take a second and heal up after that one. Be right back. Okay, I decided I'll meet you over here at Romero, just southeast of the uh, uh, Agua Tower there. So, let's head over here. Before doing anything else, I rested up at the end. Make sure to do that. I highly recommend you have max uh, MP for this next area. Let's use a Marble 3 so we can travel without getting into random battles. And I'm just going to get to the next place we have to go today. And then I'll probably end the episode. So there you go. We got to make our way back to basically to Tuntar. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got to head south now. And there's Tantar. Let's cross the bridge here. And head north. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of confusing. Let's use another Marble 3. I really don't feel like getting into random battles right now as we're trying to find this place. Our, huh. Okay, yeah, I know where I'm going now. Let's go left first. And there's the stone robot. Huh, little Cyclops guy. That's our next destination, though. Let's head over here. And let's head in here. But we will be exploring the stone robot next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire. This is RPGLPs heading out. I'll see you next time.